organized chaos and uh, today is the packing part of my travel series I guess anyway I am in the midst of moving all these clothes from this like medium-sized suitcase to this larger one and now everything for a family of four did fit in this medium except for the puddle jumpers so unfortunately I do have to use this larger suitcase I don't have a choice I'm going to bring you along and pack show you how I pack everything for our family of four in this suitcase. So, I am folding the KonMari style. I am going to bring you along and pack, show you how I pack everything for our family of four in this suitcase. So, um, okay, so I already started putting some of Matt's things in and my shorts. Uh, there's one pair of Connors, so let me see. I'm hard to try to be stable and steady. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is we have their flip-flops because we're going to do a beach day when we're there. And I have this little compartment here that's plastic, so it will keep the dirt off. Maddie also has her dressier sandals for her dresses. And then Connors. Okay, so I have the flip flops and sandals in that plastic pouch. Now I'm going to continue just kind of bringing over the rest of those. I'm going to make sure the puddle jumpers are in there. Mm, more shirts of Connors. Basically, what I'm doing here is just trying to maximize maximize our space and fit as many of the items that I can. So I'm going to put the camera down for a second and get a few more things in and then I'll bring it back and show you a midway check-in point I guess. Okay so I had to stop packing KonMari style and I still have it folded that way but I had to lay them on top because I ran out of space and but there's still more height in the suitcase so I'm going to continue just kind of laying these things flat to fill up the space but I really I don't have that much more I just have a few unmentionables <laughs> that I really um, don't want to show on camera. So that is really all I have left. Oh wait, I have Maddie's ba bathing suit. And two, two dresses. So what I'm going to do with my dresses is just lay them flat. And These are mats for there. So there you have it. That is one large suitcase for a family of four. Now I'm going to show you we do have a carry-on that has a few things in it. And I'm going to bring the camera over there now. Okay. So this is my carry-on. It's standard airline size. And I have in here an extra change of clothes in case our airline was to lose our luggage. Something that we could wear um, until either they found it or we bought some new things. But this way, it's one of the outfits that I had showed previously um, when I was showing all the different clothing options that we were bringing. And then I have my makeup brushes in here. This is hair stuff. Under that is uh, jewelry. This is makeup. Maddie's hair bows. And then I have Maddie's customs just over there. So this is all for my carry-on. And so that will just close like that. Now I do have 
over here. We have to stay the night at a hotel before our flight the next day. So this is our clothing. Again, the same clothing from when I showed you. It's included in everything that we are bringing for the trip. Um, what I did was I folded it KonMari style. I put our unmentionables in a bag. And then these are our travel size um, liquids and gels that have to be in a clear bag to be able to put through security. Um, we'll use these the night before we fly out and then there should be enough to last a little bit of our trip and then we'll probably have to purchase a few more there but this way it's all accessible. So what I'll do is for after we uh, the day that we're flying out this suitcase will stay in our trunk in our car. We'll be wearing the clothes. The pajamas will come with us so I'll put those in our carry-on and I'll put these two bags in our carry-on as well. That way we'll, we'll be using these and we're not bringing another pile of um, luggage. And this in here is our toothbrushes and our comb and our brush and things will be in here that we don't have um, we're using right now so I can't pack them. But what I'll do is after the day of that we use these, I'll just take this, carry it over here, and I will place it ah, if I can open it directly in here so it's easy access when we get to security and I can just take it out, throw it on, and go. Also in my carry-on luggage, now that I think of it, is my black sandals that are right in that same kind of zipper pouch and the kid's sunglasses are up there. Um, I might take the kid's sunglasses though and put them in. This is my purse that I bring on the airplane. It has basically nothing in it. It will have this folder that will have our passports, money, and travel documents. Um, this is my wallet slash purse. So, um, I'm taking it for days that I don't need to bring a big purse and then I can take the strap off and use it as a wallet. So that will go in there. Then I have just a little bag for on the airplane band-aids. I have a, a lipstick, <clears throat> a hand cream, eye drops, and Kleenex and then I have my bag oh eye drops right there actually eye drops contact solution and hand cream because this has to be accessible to go on the duck hi guys uh things that I haven't uh, mentioned or shown are things like our electronics our laptop our iPad all of the chargers for those as well as charger for my iPhone and my husband Samsung um, the charger for the leap pad, any type of electronics, uh, my DSLR, possibly a vlogging camera, fingers crossed, if I get one before the trip, um, all of those will go in my husband's backpack that he does bring, um, but really that is all that will be in his. So, considering we have always packed in two suitcases, plus a carry-on, plus kid suitcases, I think we're doing pretty well for the extent of our trip, um, since the trip is going to be 19 days, it is quite long and I didn't pack 19 days worth of, I packed 19 days worth of clothing, but that involves me doing laundry. So really I'm thinking I did pretty good and I hope I didn't forget anything. I really wanted to get this video filmed early so I could edit it and have it ready to go and yeah so I want to thank you all for watching Happily Organized Chaos. I hope that you got some ideas and inspiration on how to pack light um basically kind of KonMari style inspired on your next family adventure and I hope that you enjoy this series and that you will 
uh, watch and look forward to seeing our travel vlogs to Disney World when they are up. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and we will see you all again very soon. Bye, everyone.